Assalamu alaikum dear students. In previous lecture we have discussed about muscular tissue. Human type size scale. One is striated muscle. Second is smooth muscle. Third is cardiac muscle. मसल को हमने इस लेक, उसी लेक्चर में डिस्कस किया है आज हम ये डिस्कस करते हैं स्मूथ मसल एंड कार्डिक मसल फर्स्ट विल डिस्कस स्मूथ मसल व्हाट इज स्मूथ मसल दिस स्मूथ मसल इज आल्सो नोन एज इनवॉलेंट्री मसल्स एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू Stretching muscles are called voluntary muscles because they work according to the will of an organism. But these smooth muscles are called involuntary muscles. These are also known as involuntary muscles. These are also known as involuntary muscles. Why they are known as involuntary muscles? Because they work against the will of an organism. Because they work, they function against the will of an organism. Against the will of an organism. That is why these muscles are called involuntary muscles. The smooth muscle cells, the muscle cells present in smooth muscle are elongated. These are elongated, spindle shaped. Elongated, spindle shaped, having tapering ends, and having tapering ends. The cells contain this smooth muscle. Are elongated. First, they are elongated, spindle shaped, having tapering ends. Just like this, I have shown the figure of this smooth muscle. These are the tapering ends, and this is the spindle shape of this smooth muscle. Another point is that Each muscle fiber, fiber or cell, we can say that cell is enclosed in a sheath-like structure, which is known as plasma membrane. Each cell or fiber of the smooth muscle is enclosed in a sheath-like structure, which is known as plasma membrane. This is the plasma membrane of this. This is the plasma membrane of this smooth muscle fiber, of this smooth muscle, of this smooth muscle. In addition to this, it contains a single cigar shaped nucleus. In addition to this, this smooth muscle contains a single cigar shaped nucleus, and as this type of cell is uninucleated. I have told you that striated muscle is multinucleate, but this smooth muscle is uninucleate. This type of cell is uninucleate because it contains a single centrally cigar shaped nucleus. This is the nucleus of this smooth muscle, which is cigar shaped, which is placed centrally inside the cytoplasm. Inside the cytoplasm are, or we can say that sarcoplasm. Delicate threads, which are known as myofibrils. Run longitudinally. Inside the cytoplasm, there are present delicate threads, or we can say that contractile elements. These are known as myofibrils or cytostriles, which run longitudinally 
through this smooth muscle. These are the myofibrils which I have shown here. These are the various myofibrils which travel longitudinally through this smooth muscle. Through this smooth muscle. This is the structure of this smooth muscle. Now, what is the function of this smooth muscle? Another important point is that this smooth muscle does not show. It does not show. This is an important point. Note that. Note this point. It does not show alternate cross bands. It does not show alternate cross bands. Means it does not show alternate light and dark. And I have told you that this striated muscle shows alternate light and dark. Hence, these muscles are known as striated muscle. But this smooth muscle does not show alternate cross bands. Means it does not show the myofibrils of this smooth muscle does not show alternate light and dark bands. Hence, this muscle. That is why these muscles are also known as unstriated muscles. That is why these muscles are also known as unstriated muscles. Unstriated muscles. That is why these muscles are known as unstriated muscles. These are also known as visceral muscles. These smooth muscles are also known as visceral muscles. Why these are also known as visceral muscles? Because they are present in the hollow organs. Because they are present in the hollow organs of visceral organs. Because they are present in the hollow or visceral organs of human body. Visceral body. These are also known as involuntary muscles. Why they are known as involuntary muscles? Because they work against the will of an organism. That is why these muscles are known as involuntary muscles. Another point is that these muscles are known as unstriated muscles. Why these are known as unstriated muscles? Because the myofibrils of this smooth muscle does not show alternate light and dark bands. That is why these muscles are known as unstriated muscles. Another point is that these muscles are also known as visceral muscles. Why they are known as visceral muscles? Because they are present in the hollow organs of visceral or hollow or visceral organs of human body. That is why these muscles are known as visceral muscles. Now, what is the main function of this smooth muscle? As the muscle is present in the internal hollow organs of human body, except heart, except heart. This is an important point. These muscles, smooth muscles, are present are lining in the internal hollow organs of human body, except a heart. Except a, if these muscles are present in the internal hollow organs of human body, means they are lining the cavities of elementary canals. Hence, this. Important function of this smooth muscle is that it helps in it helps in the movement of food. This is the main important function of this smooth muscle. It helps in the movement of food. Through elementary canal. It helps in the movement of food through elementary canal. This is the main function of this smooth muscle. Now another type of muscle is that is cardiac muscle. That is cardiac muscle. That is Cardiac muscle. Now we will discuss this cardiac muscle. What is this? Now what is this cardiac muscle? Another important muscle is cardiac muscle. First point. This cardiac muscle shows the characteristics, meaning it shows the properties of both striated muscle as well as smooth muscle. First point is that this cardiac muscle shows the properties of both striated muscle as well as unstriated muscle, or we can say that smooth muscle. It shows the characteristics or properties of both striated muscles as well as smooth muscles. The cardiac muscle cells, cardiac muscle cells are branched. Another point is that these cardiac muscle cells are branched. These are branched and hence they form a network like structure. If these cardiac muscles are branched, they form a network like structure. Network like structure. Due to presence of branched structure in cardiac muscle, this, forms a, this type of muscle forms a network-like structure. Each 
कार्डिक मसल ईच कार्डिक मसल इज एनक्लोज इन शीत लाइक स्ट्रक्चर कार्ड प्लाज मेम्रीन कार्ड प्लाज्मा मेम्रीन ईच कार्डिक मसल इज एनक्लोज इन शीत लाइक स्ट्रक्चर कार्ड प्लाज्मा मेम्रीन In addition to this, it also contains a centrally, centrally single nucleus, single nucleus. Means it is uninucleate. It is. I'll summarize these words again. Cardiac muscle cells are branched, and hence it forms a network-like structure. Each cardiac muscle is enclosed in a sheath-like structure called plasma membrane. In addition to this, this cardiac muscle contains a centrally single nucleus, hence this type of cell is uninucleate. These cardiac muscle cells are connected by a loose connective tissue. Are connected by a loose. This is an important point here. These cardiac muscle cells are connected by a loose connective tissue. Loose connective tissue. Rich in blood capillaries. This connective tissue is rich in blood capillaries. These cardiac muscle cells are fibers. We can say that also these are fibers. We can say that these are also called fibers because these are long thread-like structures. These cardiac muscle cells are connected by loose connective tissue, which is supplied with rich blood capillaries. All these cardiac muscles shows alternate cross band. Means they show alternate light and dark band. This this is the figure I have shown. This this is the structure of cardiac muscle. These are cross bands. Which my fibers are just cardiac muscle shows. These are the micro. This is nucleus, centrally uninucleate nucleus, and this is the plasma membrane of these cardiac muscle fibers. Of these cardiac, these are various fibers which are present inside this cardiac muscle. This is the plasma membrane of this cardiac muscle fiber. They show alternate light and dark bands. This is the single centrally single nucleus. Hence, this type of muscle fiber is uninucleate. And these these are various cardiac muscle fibers. These are connected by loose connective tissue, rich in blood capillaries. Connected by loose connective tissue. Loose connective tissue. Region blood capillaries. This is the structure of this cardiac muscle. In addition to this, this type of muscle shows an important structure. This type of muscle shows an important structure. Please note down this. It shows intercalated, an important structure called intercalated discus. Intercalated discus. question is what is what are these intercalated discs these intercalated discs are simply interdigitations of digitations of or you can say that stainer cross bands stainer cross bands what are these intercalated discs are simply called stainer cross bands or you can say that these are interdigitations interdigitations of adjacent plasma membranes of adjacent plasma membranes plasma membranes of cardiac muscle fibers of cardiac muscle fibers muscle fibers in addition to this this type of muscle cardiac muscle shows an important structure which are called intercalated discs what are these intercalated discs these are darkly stained cross bands Or you can say that these are interdigitations of adjacent plasma membranes of cardiac muscle fiber. Look towards this diagram. I have shown here. This is an intercalated discus. These are intercalated discus which joins these 